Hey everybody, uh, I'm back. So I've been want so basically, I was uh, this video. I'm doing kind of a bit of an update to what's going on in for in Games Workshop or 40K, and seeing how po and trying to determine how far along uh, the Space Wolves are to getting their codex. Now, this is an interest now in this video, and also you likely notice something different in the background. I basic, basically, uh, this is from, this is one of the uh, three banners from the, uh, from the Dawn of, from the failed Dawn of War 3 game. I hate to say that it failed, I really do, but it needed some, but it just didn't have much. And I only played like multiplayer like four or five times and it just did not catch on with me. I, I rarely play it. If I ever play it again, it's likely just to replay the story. And me, I rarely play multiplayer games on my computer, especially RTS games. But anyway, so after 2018 Adepticon, they released image, they released, uh, what the next three, uh, during the 2018 Adepticon, which I wasn't at, they, uh, released, GW released a, under, basically released information about the next three codexes that are coming out, which are going to be the Imperial Knights, the Harlequins, and the Death Watch. So I decided to pop on over to the GW, no, well, not the GW, not the Games Workshop website, but the, uh, the, uh, Warhammer 40,000 website that they set up uh, what they had so I ran through the faction so I took a look at the factions and I wrote down what they what what are we missing Sorry, excuse me, good. I put the bookmark in I put the thing into my Wolfsbane book but so far uh, the ones that have yet to be announced the Sisters of Silence, the Imperial Agents, Orcs, Gene Stealers, and Space Wolves. Now these are now these guys don't have a codex yet, or what's going to happen? But or, or what's going to happen is that they could be combined somewhere that they could be combined. I mean, the Sisters of to kind of mesh that in, the Sisters of Silence could be considered Imperial Agent could be considered Imperial Agents because in the book. Uh, Watchers of the Throne, the headquarters of the Inquisition on the, in, in the Soul system was formerly a was formerly the headquarters of the Sisters of Silence, and also to all the uh, uh, Sisters of Battle's players, we we they basically announced that Sisters of Battle are going to be coming out next year, new plastic models. Which has been long overdue, <laughs> but so basically we're not going to see their codex until 2019. We're likely because they're what they're doing is that they're going to be putting experimental rules into the uh, into the 2018 uh, chapter approved. So we're not going to so so basically they're giving people some, some way to test them out out the new models. So we're not going to be seeing. Uh, so we're likely not going to be seeing a codex until 2019. And I know GW said that they're trying to get the codexes into the uh, it within like a year within this within last year and this year. So we're so likely. What I don't know what they're going to try. I think that's kind of a, a break in the. But it's 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 a minor break. This is. Uh, the, I think that it's basically. They've waited years for the people have waited years for this. They can wait until next year. So I and I'm kind of I'm like Imperial agents. I would kind of I really don't know. Like like Imperial agents can be inquisit. Imperial agents can mean inquisition. Uh, but there are many Imperial agents, like the Adeptus Arbites. They are the law enforcement of uh of the imperium they could use that uh what else um 
really this really there are many chamber militants of the inquisition so like you what that depends like what kind of imperial agents you actually another type of imperial agents are the eyes of the emperor which are the uh legio custodes who are who basically retired from from guard duty of the gold of the golden throne or the imperial palace and went on to a to uh, become agents in the Imperium to watch over and try to prevent things from happening. Orcs, basically, I think are gang are the closest ones that are that they're, they're it's a uh, let's see the Dark Eldar got released. We're likely to see now now with orcs. We're possibly going to see. Uh, it's possible that we're going to be seeing them in a uh, late May, possibly early June release, because or because they hinted at because they basically they hinted at orcs. So it was like you know that. So basically the uh, the space uh, the uh, the Death Watch the Imperial. I think Death Watch. Are going to be close to the orcs because you want kind of want them as a as like the alien hunters and those who prevent the orcs possible it's possible so i and actually i've been wanting to kind of talk about this for a while in my videos um the in the 40k in, when it comes to games workshop uh universes placed into video game form I feel that everyone is keeps trying to push for uh, tactical MOBAs well no they, they tried MOBAs a couple of times they it, the, those didn't take the uh, what is that word they were trying uh, Diablo. Diablo. Like, I can handle... I mean, I'm a, I'm a guy... I like my I like first-person shooters. I like RTS games as much as the next guy, but I don't want to be saturated with it. I don't want to be drowning it. I don't want to be drowning in RTS games. One of the things I would, I would definitely love, and this can go for both 40K and Age of Sigmar, or... But or uh, mm, Underhive or even Shadespire is a open world RPG none of that top down stuff I mean like third person uh, stuff where you roam around you build reputations you can work with a lot of stuff you can work with people get gain some companions you know that whole thing uh, the closest I would think was which was possible was um, uh, dark millennium online it was the that old MMO art that MMO game that was construct that was being made by vigil games back when THQ was still around but the problem is, is that the whole game did is that uh, I think they were having trouble because they said that they were changing the name of it to Inquisitor, which means that they couldn't really. That means that somewhere in there something happened that forced them to change what the game was, and I and I, I felt that may have been one of the one of the pains of it. I've but I've really been dying for like okay Age of Sigmar has revealed itself has revealed it has a good it has a good growing history I like that everyone loves a game with a good growing loves a, a universe with a good thriving growing history and story and and progressiveness and I like and with 40k it's been established for 30 years and polishing stuff polishing information and all that I would I would love that in like oh like one idea I had you could make it about a, a space marine who, ju who just got accepted into a, a space marine chapter 
or you could or or you could kind of bring it down to the level of of a of, uh, of what is what are they of the imper of the Astra Militarum. Like you could you could make a progressive story about that. Or is like and I like the idea of Inquisitor Martyr. I like the, the mission selection effect of Inquisitor Martyr. But I just they're, 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 it's it's strange. There are so many possible ways. I mean Focus Home Entertainment, they're do focus uh, Focus Home Interactive, not entertainment. They they do a good job. They've done a very good job with how they what sort of type of games they want I'm a little upset that Deathwing that Space Hulk Deathwing is not going to be going for Xbox One and it's like I, my, my desktop does not do a good job at running it so I'm going to have to run it so if I buy it I'm going to have to run it on my laptop which is a, a gaming PC which is a gaming laptop but there's just there's just so much I mean I even I like there's, there, I on my Facebook page on a couple of Facebook pages. I don't have my own Facebook page with, with like, with, reg with regarding these videos. But what happened is, like, I say, guys, try if you can, or if there are any game developers that that love 40k, that are willing to do the game service. They like. Oh, try to try an RPG element. Try a very good third-person RPG element, or really, or it's like it seems that MMOs are beyond are beyond finance are beyond financial. And the thing is, is like this is a very good universe to work with. It's very it's fun. It's it, it's it really brings it out. I do feel that some that you could try anything, but to tone it down with the art with the strategy games, please. I mean, I, I'm actually, pre but although I am pretty impressed that they're working out a a trading card game for uh, 40k. Well, not 40k, uh, but Age of Sigmar. I'm I'm liking that. It really brings it out. Uh, but anyway, that's what I've been wanting to say. I mean, I've been meaning to pull it, put it out in video, in a video like my 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 love for uh, for uh, 40k and Age of Sigmar uh, uh, video games, and like I, I I like that what they've done with Vermintide. The end times and Vermintide end times one and two, uh, but what they but it's like just try with something. I I, don't know, I you could go begging on your knees to Games Workshop and try and ask them please like okay you know I want you want to create a a, a video game regarding this a part of forty of forty k like make it an adventure. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy. This. Well, I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope you kind of you have ideas and questions. Uh, I was thinking of adding a one of the others. Uh, the other the other banners I have are orcs and Eldar. So I'm not sure which one to put up on this patch of the wall because I feel it's a little bare. So I and it's like with this. Uh, not not the banner, but this uh, image of that space wolf that I have up there. I could use some splash of another color. So, if you have any options, if you have any suggestions, I I'm feel feel free to, to post in the comments. Well, have have a good day, everyone. Happy hunting.